So, yes, he came out dressed as a video game character, I understand. Sans from Undertale. I see. I did recognize... Uh, With the Megalovania theme. Mm, ah, These perfect. people on Twitter were going crazy. Well, as I, as I mentioned, I am an old person, so I did recognize Ken and Ryu from Street Fighter when the Young Bucks came out. Yes. Blew up Vinny's old brain no, right it's, there. It's not, it's not you. I'm, I'm, I'm reading my notes for the next one. Oh, match. Bray White versus The Miz. Right, First off, I didn't know... Any, did nobody think that the match was going to be Bray Wyatt versus The Miz? When I first saw on Twitter an ad for this match, I don't. I I, I think I was. I I wanted to retweet. This sounds like the worst main event ever. So no, I expected this to be a horrible match. I don't know how I didn't think about it till like they were coming through the curtain, but it suddenly hit me. We're gonna watch Bray Wyatt wrestle The Miz. It was even worse than I expected. It was so much worse than I expected. So listen, everyone. I don't want to be the guy who just hates everything and shits on everything and never has anything nice to say. Some people in this crowd were into the Bray Wyatt character, okay? So there's people out there who enjoy this kind of thing. Oh, you should have read my timeline after I buried this one. I don't want people to not enjoy things. But I don't enjoy this stuff myself, okay? I am not their target audience. So I feel guilty, honestly, even reviewing it. Well, let me let me say something, Vinny. I'll help you review it, okay? So yes, you're not the target audience, but let's look at this objectively, okay? Not subjectively like I like the Bray Wyatt character. Okay, the storyline is that there was a home invasion... And Bray Wyatt went to the Miz's house and put a fucking scary doll in his kid's crib, which made her cry. All right? Yes. All right, that's the backstory. Miz then does a melodramatic fucking promo where he says, this is the most important match, the most personal match of my entire life. I am not fighting as the Miz. I'm fighting as a man protecting my family. So they play the Miz's music, and he comes out in his stupid trench coat and his stupid glasses, and he does his stupid dance, and he does his whole baby face happy entrance, and he stands in the ring. Then they play the Firefly Funhouse music, and out comes Bray Wyatt. He's in a fucking sweater and his jeans and his street shoes and he's waving at everybody and he comes down and he literally stands on the announcer's table facing away from the ring looking at the people. And do you know what The Miz does? As I recall, he stood there. He fucking stands there and looks at this guy who went into his house and put a creepy doll in his three-year-old's fucking bed, okay? I had these people on Twitter defending this going, well, the ref was holding him back. Okay, if some motherfucker comes into my house and puts a fucking doll in Paisley's crib, if I'm within 20 feet of this guy... You can have 30 fucking people holding me back. I'm going to get at that guy. Or I'm at least going to fucking try. This asshole stands there. Oh, I'll let this guy do his fucking entrance. I'll twiddle my fucking thumbs right here while this guy stands on the goddamn announce table and fucking poses. Okay? So then they ring the bell. Now we're into the actual pro wrestling aspect of this match. And here's the other flaw. Angry Miz is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Not a badass. He runs across the ring. He does his stupid deal where he runs corner to corner, throwing the lamest, lightest, shittiest knees. Everything he does looks fake. It's the softest shit you ever saw. He has to put on the angry, mean face. Oh, I'm mad at this fucking guy. I'm going to beat his ass. I'm going to run as slow as I can. But when I get there, I'm going to beat his ass. I'm like, fuck me. The fucking Bray Wyatt doesn't sell a goddamn thing. He just gets hit with stuff, and Miz does this bullshit, and then finally Bray takes him outside, his sister Abigail, throws him in the ring, hits another one, and wins. And, like, I'm not the biggest fan of the Miz. This whole thing is bullshit, but 
fuck? Could you have made that guy look like a bigger fucking geek? He got destroyed in the most important and most personal match the of his career. The most personal and important match of his life where he's fighting for his fucking three-year-old and his wife. He just gets fucking squashed like a geek. Actually, Brian, you could make The Miz look weaker and like more of a geek. Would you have another guy come in and wipe the mat with Bray Wyatt? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Daniel Bryan comes in. Listen, hey, here's another one for you, okay? Bray Wyatt went to the Miz's house. He went into his three-year-old daughter's room and tried to scare her with a creepy doll, okay? Bray Wyatt gave Daniel Bryan a fucking haircut. Well, Daniel Bryan comes in. He's so mad about getting his fucking haircut, which is not a bad haircut, by the way. I mean, it's not like there's fucking tufts everywhere. Just buzzed it. Fucking goes in there. He beats the living fuck out of Bray Wyatt. Just destroys him. Miz, who, by the way, was the most personal match of his... He just vanishes. I mean, he's gone. Oh, I fucking got beat. I'm going to go to the undisclosed location now. I don't give a shit. He vanishes. Daniel Bryan beats this guy's ass. I was like, objectively, what the fuck was this? You're being way too kind. So, I'm watching the... the fucking 45 minute recap video of all this horribleness and i'm thinking back i just how many different ways bray wyatt has sucked it's, it's like i got a new gimmick we'll put fucking maggots in the ring that sucks i'll be a fucking clown this sucks i'll put on a creepy mask well, the creepy mask is kind of cool but so i'm just marveling at this and he comes out for his entrance and even put aside the home invasion and how the Miz is the worst babyface since Buff Bagwell and Nitro. Put all that aside. They're playing this wacky children's music, and he comes out in his wacky pants and a sweater, and the championship of the universe are on his waist. And a graphic comes up at the bottom of the screen that says Universal Champion Bray Wyatt. It's all in fucking balloon letters. And that was it. Like. <sighs> Like a light bulb went off in my head. That's the exact moment I just gave up. Dude, you left I the room. I don't understand. You left the room and said you were going home. We had to drag you back in here. I just, it, it, this is not for me. I don't want the guy who is theoretically the face of your company and the best wrestler in the universe to come out doing a wacky dance with balloon animal font. Hey, so, Vinny, if you promise not to quit, I'm going to read a couple of these, okay? A couple of what? So I wrote, if only he debuted in I January. I can't make any promises about not quitting if you read people defending this. <laughs> he didn't. Bray Wyatt might have successfully tied up the entire top 10 for worst matches of 2019. Okay? Give me fair warning before you quit and I'll stop. Let me read a few. This person says, nah, this was amazing. This person says, Blocked. I'm enjoying it. Blocked. This person here says, his only bad match was against Rollins at Hell in a Cell, which wasn't his fault. This person here says, you guys seriously aren't going to judge that on the scale of an actual match, right? It was yes! supposed to be a match. It was an angle to develop his character and set up a match with Bray. I don't want to watch angle to set up characters. I want to watch fucking wrestling matches. I loved it, this person said. This person says, I know your shtick is to crap on WWE, but this match was incredible storytelling. I quit. Stop. Stop. Brian, I can't do it. All right, listen, I can't deal. I don't want to be involved in this, okay? All right. I cut through like 5%. So I wasn't even getting to the resting match part of this yet. They do this video. Uh, like I say, it's like an hour. And then they go back to the arena. And there's like 8,000 people in this building. I don't know how many were in this crowd. Thousands and thousands of people are there. And if there's 8,000 people there, 7,999 of them are stone silent. But there is one guy, one brave soul at the top of his lungs, shouting off from the rafters, Michael Cole sucks! Michael Cole sucks! Hey. That was the highlight of the match. Well, maybe the guy was listening on commentary when Bray Wyatt pulled out the big fucking giant-ass hammer and Michael Cole had never seen the fucking hammer before, even though a month ago he called the match with the giant fucking hammer! Yeah. So the match begins. It's dead quiet. Because the Miz is the shittiest baby face in the world. We're actually going over the match? Because what you neglected, Brian, is that as terrible as the Miz's knees and kicks were, light years better than his grappling. <laughs> well, I'm watching Michael Mizanin try to do groundwork and small joint manipulation. 
Fuck you and fuck off with that. <laughs> he did the Pentagon Show- arm breaker. I'm not even Pentagon and I'm pissed off. <laughs> this is, this is, it's, he's so bad at it, man. He's so bad. So here I simply wrote, this match is shit. This match is total shit. And Bray just hits his move and wins and there's more shit. The Fiend appears on the screen. That's <laughs> a hell of a review. The Fiend appears on the screen. This inspires Bray. I don't fucking know. He goes out and grabs the big cartoony mallet. There's a bunch of sound effects, which I don't know what's supposed to indicate, but Daniel Bryan with his new American Dragon haircut is in the ring. He's got a maroon sweatshirt on <laughs> with the hood up so you can't see his head. He does the Daniel Bryan knee strike. And Michael Cole, who I'm supposed to believe is an actual functioning human being and not just a, a robot with a string you pull, says, Could it be? I fucking hate the show, Brian. <laughs> it's really He's bad. such a fucking dipshit. <laughs> and then, yes, Daniel Bryan. The whole thing with Bray Wyatt is he put on his mask, he feels no pain. Seth tried to kill him and couldn't get it done. And he knows all everything the Miz did here, but Daniel Bryan returns and just eviscerates him, just rends him to nothingness. He's going to kill him with a giant hammer. The lights go out, they come back on. He is gone. I hated this. <laughs> just hated this. <laughs> it was bad. 